We cannot replace any of our lads. They are going to get in. We're going to have to do it, aren't I? It may be a bit too late. There's not too many of them there, though. How long will it take for the gas to get there? Not long at all. Oh, they are being murdered by it. Well, I think that was a dodgy place, but it has. If you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description, as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money, you should too. The link is in the description, be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out. Links in the description. Thank you. Welcome everybody to yet another Moist Tea Gaming video. Thank you for joining in. As you can see, we're playing the Great War, the Western Front. Constantly trying to counteract the German potential offensives by sticking men in there. We've got airplanes pretty much all the way around now, which is fairly decent. And as you can see, we have made a very large thrust into enemy territory, where we are now actually very close to murdering the capital. Last episode, I can't quite remember, but we must have left it where we had slaughtered them. We've probably done a bombardment and then went in for the kill. Looking at this though, it does appear that the enemy are trying to threaten us significantly. They have a doom stack of 11 cores there, which could consist of airplanes and tanks, where we just don't have that there. Hopefully we'll be able to hold, even if we don't actually successfully hold this, we're still going to have an extra chance. I really don't think 8 are going to get through 6 seven of mine they're just not we're too good for that we also have the air force there as well this is on elite difficulty so it is incredibly difficult to actually get anywhere but finally we're making enough progress to smash them before we go anywhere though join the discord the link is in the description do that now i want to see you there it's a good place to be you won't get hassled You'll even probably see me in there doing some recordings. Don't think there's anything else to do here far from end the turn, so we'll do that. The enemy have a spy. Structures disabled in Primancis. Oh, no. They're going to be going for them. Oh, they haven't. Oh, I thought they were going to go for it then. We may have been in trouble. Because they just disabled our buildings, but they've left it. Interesting. All those troops that were around here, though, have now drastically shifted. Lots of them are in the capital, and lots of them are in Simirn. However, many others are now over in Noyon, Pyrenees, so we need to influence what is going on over here. Got a few defenders floating around, which we can get involved in the defense of that area to make sure they can't get in I'm gonna start our way from mean hold the enemy have a couple of bits there Stand but we can definitely do with grabbing one or two from this area definitely gonna get the elites over coming. this direction as well more concerned about Aris I've just moved them in the wrong location but never mind they keep wanting to have a prod there, so we'll keep them happy. Enemy have two adjacent to this, so we're going to have only one. Problem is, they have troops in Noyon, which means they can go for Scions as well. Which is quite frustrating, because we're going to have to move uh, more men over and... See how we're going to best deal with this. We've got 11 cores there, we can't stop that. Not with what we've got there currently. Don't really think there's anyone else I can really Ready grab. Yourselves. There's another infantryman here I can utilize. We need air wings in here, that is for sure. They have one, two, three. 
Iris has a little bit more. I'm not bothered about Hayesbrook. I don't think they'll attack. And if they do, I reckon we'll be able to defend it. We better get another one in. We'll go for... Uh, so they've got a double stack here. We're moving. So Villa's Brennox is the only one where they can double murder it. But... This is looking quite precarious. I need to move some of these airplanes around, that's for sure. There has been an update where you cannot get the oil supply back from the airplanes. So we're going to have to watch for that. I honestly think that that is as good as we're going to get it. It's not much supply, but it is what it is. So look at this event. America enters the war. Ooh, we have reinforcements. A nice General John, I'm presuming it's John, Pershing, newly selected commander of the American Expeditionary Forces, arrived in England with his staff in June. One month later, American combat forces began arriving in France, landing at the port of saint Nozier. However, American troops were untrained and insufficiently equipped for combat. Pershing set up a training camp in France to get them ready while communications and supply networks were set up. The first Americans didn't enter combat until three months later. Each American unit was paired with a French unit in the trenches to gain experience. So we went about that in the correct way, I believe. We now have reinforcements. We have new order. But this is going to be short-lived because I do believe Germany is going to get more reinforcements because troops from the Eastern Front will be arriving seeing as Russia has gone for its revolution now. Now the question remains, where do we stick these Americans? They don't particularly like the... French too much and they won't get on with us neither we end up arguing but it would be good to get them in combat anyway an option is to grab some of these French units get them to defend Verdun and Saint Meanhold for example freeing up, freeing up a couple of British that will strengthen this slightly while we get some of the American forces in on the main blob. That might be an option. That might be a good idea, actually. I think we'll do that. First of all, these troops, though, do need rearranging. I put these here because the enemy had doom stacks positioned. We've got elites and lots of infantry. All of this wants to go back into Kaiserslautern. Where we're going to attempt and surround the capital. These Americans are going to be going on the front line. Move out. Get them right up there. Use them. I think they are best used with tanks, I believe. That is their bonus. French, as many of you are going to be aware, have the reduced supply cost for deployment. The British are better at shooting the enemy with range and accuracy. The Canadians are brilliant with the rolling barrage. They all have their own thing. But I am definitely going to be moving some of these around. We're going to take some troops from here and stick them in Verdun and St. Meanhold. Because this is looking really precarious. Moving. Yeah, it's going to be empty for just a little orders. while, but only for a few minutes. These are now empty. We've stuck those four calls in here. That hopefully will be enough to deter them. Is a little bit fishy, though. They do have a rather large amount of troops there. I'm going to stick a couple of French in here. We'll go for two, just because. We don't really want any of this to get thrown out the window. As if this was to get taken, for example. All this would then be surrounded. We would lose all progress, pretty much. We can't be having that. Looking at this, we need to do our regular bombardment of Kreisnack. The main army is not ready at Kaiserslautern, though. They're going to need a turn to recuperate. I would get more troops there if I could, but I really cannot spare any more from anywhere. More planes would be nice, though, that is for sure. 
But I suppose we'll deal with what we have. We could stick a few more of the defences up in this location. Well, it should be alright for now, I suppose. Technology-wise, half forgotten what I was going to go for. I do think it was potentially tanks. Because we haven't had any yet. It's been a long time coming. We've got the juicy mustard tea gas, which is doing wonders. Some new companies will be wonderful, but meh. We only get two. Some beverages would go a long way. Give the men some more spirits. But getting these tanks would actually be glorious for the final assault. Even those snipers and things would be beautiful right now. I think we're going to keep pushing for the tanks. Yeah, we'll do that. Get this one, limited exchange. That will be good actually anyway. For increasing our global supply reserves. They aren't marvellous right now. So it does make sense that if we can actually buy some and get a little bit more, that would be wonderful. Right now, though, that isn't too much of a problem. I am going to purchase some more French air wings, though. Over here. Get them on the main blob. I want five on it. There's another one. Look at that. Nice. I'm going to save my money just for the time being, though. These will be fine, I presume. Need the aircraft along the rest of the front, really, to destroy the tanks because when they come in with tanks we're in a bit of a pickle and the planes are the only thing that we have that can murder them but we also need plenty for the offensive so let's just go ahead we need to make sure that we slap Kreisnack before we do anything so let's do that it is the rainy season so heavy artillery won't really do anything but we can bomb them to oblivion, at least to some degree. Undermining, we've already blasted three enormous craters here. And it won't let us do any more because there won't be a battlefield left. Here we go. Look at these ginormous holes that we have created. Rather marvellous. And there is the third one over here. Excellent. As you can see, it won't let me make another ginormous hole, which is a little disappointing. What I'm going to do, though, is the pretty much usual get a lot of men in. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to get lots of planes in and murder everything with them. This is only a bombardment just to make sure that they cannot recover at their capital. I've misclicked you. I seem to be doing lots of them lately. A recent upgrade that I got recently was the rifles. Long time coming. I've wanted that, but we've had more pressing concerns. This has significantly improved our defensive capabilities as we can now actually shoot the enemy with more deadliness. Could go for a, a observation balloon just to help spot the enemy, but I think I'd rather get more plane. Oh no, can we get planes in the air? Actually, that is a thought. I hope we can, with it being a bit rainy, they may not like it. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, we can't get the air force in. <sighs> well, this was a bit of a pointless endeavor. I'm just going to have to do the ceasefire now. My mistake. We definitely couldn't have attacked. Don't have the men there, the artillery, or the air force. But it will count as an attack which will stop them from recovering. Keeps them on edge. You never want to attack when it is the rainy season. You'll never get anything done. That cost us 100 supply, but I'd rather pay that and keep Kreisnack under weather. So this will mean that we can't, well, we can't attack from Kaiserslautern anyway because the army needs to get into position. So the enemy are probably going to go for a murderous attack on us. So let's see what happens. I'm going to end the turn again. Enemy spy in... Where? Villa, oh, over there. Ah, oh, see, this is what we predicted. Are they going to go for it? No, they're going for... 
here instead. Shelton Xiaomian. Hopefully they don't have tanks. We don't have an air force. We've only got one British company here. Well, core here. We haven't actually had a battle here before. So I'm going to have to set up some basic defenses. Get rid of all of these trashy ones. Yes, they are freely placed, but I hate where they stick them and it will never be removed again. So I would rather get rid of them all and do my own. What I do need to consider with this is if the enemy have tanks. Now, they have done this before where they have been rather irritating and done just that. So I'm going to set up my basic all or nothing defense of the command trench we only have 20 cores available well companies available to us reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. so we can't actually do anything more than this in terms of troop numbers we do want to get them all in though so we'll stick a couple in there for example and over here and another one there that is it that's all the men we have for this battle the more losses we take, the more in trouble we are going to be. Stick the cons trenches in here so they can wriggle around rather quickly in this section, which is key. Now, just in case the enemy do have some nasty things coming our way, going to go for reinforced mortar MG. Uh, not M mortar MG, that doesn't exist. Reinforced mortar nest there and there. Now they have rifled grenade launchers now. So their range is very high. They usually can get within rifle range from here. here I'm hoping... Go. Now I don't actually have the reinforced MGs. But I'm hoping that these will stay alive long enough to do something. Getting these here might be a good idea, but reckoning that the enemy are probably going to be coming on the flanks. We'll stick another one there and there. If I could stick concrete ones down, I would. These two mortars should stop the enemy from being too annoying. Hopefully we can murder them while they are floating around. It might actually be safe. Because I've got these mortars here, they will go all the way out there. So if I was to stick an MG nest here, they shouldn't be able to shoot it. In theory. Now, if they get in the trenches, that might be a little bit of a different story. However, the mortars should still suppress them. Whether two is going to be enough for that, I'm not too sure. But it is definitely going to be at least something half nice. Now, I can stick three more down. They usually end up coming on the flank. But it's hard to decide exactly where to put it. Could stick another two there and there. When we have one more covering the middle. Now, if they have tanks, they're going to slaughter us. End of story. These mortars are not going to be stood up long enough to do anything about it. Yes, I've eaten into some supply, but I want to keep hold of this as much as possible. I didn't actually think that they would attack here seeing as all of their troops are on the other side so let's see how we get on it is going to be a case of waiting for the enemy i'm hoping their artillery cannot reach now, this is the reinforced mortar position as you can see it has some protection around it quite nice i don't think i've ever actually used these before got to be a lot stronger than the sandbag ones that is for sure if I could, I would have put some advanced trenches down here to stop any potential murderous intent from the enemy artillery. They do have a balloon in the air. That would have cost them. Look at their trenches already. But they've never had a battle here, and they've already got stupid amounts of trenches laid down. Never making it easy. We'll see what they do. Might as well zoom. They are at A now. I'm presuming that's where they're going to be going if i can get some extra troops in this bit of trench then i will i may even actually get these in there now we've got a double stack which will benefit us in hand-to-hand -hand combat 
they all come flooding from A, they're probably going to be coming at this angle, which they're going to be met with one, two, three MGs pointing right at them. Maybe oh, even no. four when they get closer, that will be glorious, and then Any the mortar weapon? to stop them from doing anything too stupid to our own MG nests. We want to keep as many of our lads alive as possible. They cannot be replaced. Now, here we go. They're going to be having a dabble over this way shortly. I'm glad we've got the British lads in here. They have the additional vision and rifle range. Getting them bonuses on the defensive over the enemy and other troops. This is like waiting to be lined up really isn't it this come on lads show yourselves this car isn't going to be there for that long i'd like to know have we seen this guy he's just lying back chilling out oh here we go here we go oh they're all running over there are they it would appear that they're going to go and take b first something just destroyed that house it would appear that they're going for smoke, badly placed smoke, they're going for a rolling barrage. Badly placed rolling barrage, but I'll take it. It will suppress a lot of our lads though. Hopefully it won't suppress all the machine guns. They have stormtroopers, we need to stop them from doing horrible things to our lads. Fire. Keep them suppressed please. Yes, they are eliminated. That is excellent. We've got raiders coming in. This just gets more and more and more dangerous as time goes on. They are shooting us with artillery. That appears to be rapid fire. They must have... Oh, wow. What have they done there? Was that multiple? It may have been. I'd rather it be going for the MGs and things, though, over... Our troops, the troops cannot be replaced. Oh, look at that. That's much more resistant to the artillery. We're going to be placing more of them from now on. This is good. We're shooting. Get ready to fire. We are eliminating these stormtroopers rather well. I like it. They are at B. So far, they've not done a fully... See, look how much more defensive that is. That is brilliant. I'd rather have one of these which survives than two that gets blapped immediately. I'm going to definitely be implementing these more from now on. Need to wait for them to come again. It would appear that they're going to be having a dabble from this direction. So far, the casualties that we have caused the enemy are making it so that... It's now a stalemate over a loss or whatever. As long as we keep murdering them, we should be okay. They are secluded in the smoke and are going to get in. But they're mostly dead already, so that's not too much of a problem. We have lost that other control point. That's made it swing into the enemy's favour. It does not appear as though they have tanks, though, which is a big deal. The enemy are preparing to come again. Here we go. Lots of artillery. This is a more coordinated attack. They're going to have the rolling barrage here. And they are suppressing the machine guns and actually destroying them. That is not ideal, but hopefully we can hold on without them. Thought that was going to be a big wave of them. They only sent three companies. I'm not too sure as to what they are doing. They have men stationed at B guarding it. They'll have the same over A, so I can't do a sneaky grab on that either. We're just going to have to endure this, I think. Got more of them running around now, just in the view. We're going for another attack few more of them this time. They are all going to get murdered though at current rates. This is why we have the men at the back ready to shoot as well. Some of the MGs are in range. The mortars. Oh, this is a bit more coordinated. Yeah, they're definitely going to be coming. We can't murder them that well. These are probably going to get in. Could potentially do with moving a couple of these lads around this side of the trench. 
preemptively because it does appear that they are going to get in. They've just eliminated an MG. They've definitely got in now. This MG doesn't appear to be shooting anybody. Now it is, kind of. Need to make sure that they can't shoot because they're just going to eliminate. They've really managed to push their way in on this section. Oh man, this ain't great. They've actually done a successful shove of our forces here. We need to take this back. Our lads are running around. I cannot leave this empty. They're nearly into the centerpiece. They're going to keep bombarding this mortar emplacement, but hopefully we can actually sustain ourselves. They have stormtroopers in. Thankfully, we're holding the right side as well. But this left side does not look too pretty. Going to have to get some troops running forward to that position to attempt to try and take this back. These mortars will do damage to the men which are in the trench, I think. Or at least to keep them quiet. Now, the enemy are actually... Oh, what is going on here? Oh, they're all getting stuck. No, lads, don't get out the trench. Get back in. There we go. Now, they've run around and actually managed to avoid our troops. But they've asked for a ceasefire. We've held them off. Yes! Thank you. That will do me wonders. We must be running out of supply there. They did have a balloon and things. They would have had more, that is for sure. We must have thought it was just getting a little bit too costly for them. That cost us not too much really at all. There's the enemy, it cost them quite a bit, and we murdered 5,350 men. Let's see if the enemy attack again. Yeah, we spent a little bit of supply and cash, but I'm happy with that. Demoralize the elite, or destroy three German stormtrooper companies. We get a thousand pounds for that, that's nice. And here we go again, they're having another dabble in Morha oh, from Morhange into Lewinville. We have aircraft here. They only have two cores. Let's have a dabble. We've already had defensive works here. Oh yeah, that's right. This one looks different because we have this ridge. And I've worked with the terrain, so this is slightly different to the usual. What I could do is if the enemy behave, I could actually stick some artillery in here. Because we've already got this set up. Whether we have the supply to do anything with it or not is questionable. But we've got the French troops in here. Which means that the supply cost is drastically reduced. We are going to need some other bits as well, though. I did like the integrity of that field mortar. I'm going to stick two of them in, or three even. They were quite nice. I do want some MGs in. We'll stick them around here. Like so. We can't stick one there, but never mind. Don't want to stick them too close to the enemy. I can stick a heavy artillery in though, so we could potentially have at least one round of gas. How do I get this in though? That is the question. I could stick it down here, so if they go for a full frontal, we should be good. If I stick it there... Yeah, if I stick it there, if I can select that and it'll show me the range, if they come from these angles mainly, I sh yeah, I should be fine. Should be able to gas them. Now that would be lovely. Well, let's begin and see what the enemy do. We do have our planage available as well. 
So if they do have tanks, we can blap them. While we can also gas. We've got two rounds of gas potentially available to us. Look at their trenches. They're already stupidly advanced. Bunkers in there and everything. Mental. Just got to wait for them now. I do like the look of these reinforced mortars. They are quite nice. I'd like to see what the concrete ones are like. I may even research them. Especially the reinforced MGs. That would increase their survivability enormously. The enemy artillery does have the opportunity to be really far forward here. So we're going to have to be on guard for that. I kind of need to establish if the enemy have tanks early on. Because if I use the artillery, I cannot afford to use a bombing run. So we do need to be aware of that. We're already at B. They're asking for a ceasefire already. But we didn't even get a chance to guess them. Oh, come on. Well, well. It is what it is. Interesting choices by the AI there. They got a control point, and that was it. They did get quite a few boosts, but that doesn't matter. They're boosted enough anyway. Apparently everybody liked this. We spent a bit of money on global supply, which is a nuisance, but it is okay. And they're going for us again. Haysbrook this time. Interesting. This is going to be eating into our supply, not going to lie. They have tried to murder us here before, so again, Looks like we're, like we're, to we're going to be doing the usual blobbage. Report. Some of these chaps were Welsh then. For duty. Looks like we're late to the party. Reinforcements oh. reporting. Let me find him. Where's he gone? with this lot? New orders. No. We have new orders. Stand by for orders. Stand by for orders. Attention. There was some Welsh people in there then. Stand I don't think yourselves. I've heard that before. Attention! Stand by for orders. I'll have to try and find them. Pick some MGs in. They're probably going to come from more extremities, seeing as the replan points are right down in these areas. I'm trying to see if I could potentially fit an artillery piece in, but I don't think I will. Not one that will cover anyway. It might work. If I stick that there, be ready, boys. it'll go right up there and right up there. It might be enough if they come at a stupid angle. But if they come right down here, I don't think it will do right much. But I might try anyway. Do with a few more MGs. Just cautious as to where I'm going to place them. I don't want them to get blapped. That's all that we can afford right now. So let's begin. We do have plain support if we need it. Don't know if the enemy are going to have tanks. They have done it before, so we need to be cautious. I had men in these positions, but I'm going to take them out. They're more prone to being artilleried. So we'll do this and adjust accordingly. Waiting for the enemy again. Somebody has started a bomb fire in the trenches. I wouldn't recommend it, lads. Oh, they're at A now, so they may proceed to have a large dabble down in this direction. But we'll have to see. Here we go. They're having a dabble. We've got raiders. They are suppressing our lads there. With a rolling barrage as well. The MGs are taking care of them. The mortars are shooting them as well. They are in the smoke, so they may get in, but they cannot fire. That is the main... Th oh, they've been eliminated. Oh, that's excellent. But there are plenty of them approaching now. I'm not going to use the artillery until there's more of a blob. They're going to try and smoke us out. We are still heavily suppressed. We are now actually murdering them. Please don't grenade us too much. There's actually quite a few of them here, isn't there? I may actually... No, I'll be too late for that. Do I just gas it now? Ooh. I'll wait for the next wave. I will wait for the next wave. I've only got two shouts at it. What would be an idea, actually, is if they manage to get in, which they're obviously doing now, 
to gas them out of the area. That would be funny. See, they're all kind of stuck there for the time being. They're in the smoke, but they're going to get blapped as they proceed forwards. But I'm not too bothered about having that there for the time being. Got more coming from the north. Happy just murdering them for the time being. We've got lots of them coming in. It would appear that they are quite numerous again. Our lads are nearly dead in that direction. We cannot replace any of our lads. They are going to get in. I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? It may be a bit too late. There's not too many of them there, though. How long will it take for the gas to get there? Not long at all. Oh, they are being murdered by it. Well, I think that was some dodgy placement. It has eliminated them to a degree. They're coming from this direction again, but they are being absolutely murdered. The mortars are making their lives quite miserable. But they have managed to get in from this direction. That gas is going to be lingering around there for a while. Could do with getting some of these men forward, so we'll reinforce from this sector. We're not going to get an opportunity to move our lads into here Attention. with them concentrating on that section of trench. Position. We're going to move these lads around here in preparation to move these around as well. We have new orders. Because they are most definitely being a nuisance around here. They're being a little bit more persistent than previously. They end up properly taking this section. I why did you run out the trench? There's no need for that. Anyway. They end up taking this properly. I will start gassing our own trenches. One of the benefits of it, you may as well. Stand by for orders. Take fire in position. Let's get these yourselves. lads involved. Get these down here. Ready. You can also go down there. What's happening over here? We're just murdering scattered units at the moment. Nothing too serious. Now I can either send lads in, which I can't replace to eliminate these, or I can gas them. So they are appearing to be coming in again. I'll just wait for a little while before I gas it. They are definitely coming in. Oh, this is another wave. Yeah, we're going to gas this lot. Gas it now. It's not going to do them any favours. They seem to have stopped firing their artillery, which is lovely. All of these men are now going to be having a bit of a panic. They're going to be getting murdered by the gas. It is eliminating them considerably. That is glorious. These men are going to have a bad time of it, but all this section has now been thoroughly cleared. Even though these are going to be getting murdered in there, being hounded by the Germans and they are now all dead. There are still, still floating around the top there and are going to be rather persistent and stay there for the time being. Thankfully they're not in range of any of our MGs, but they've all mostly been eliminated anyway. And they have requested a ceasefire. Excellent. Nice. As long as we hold the ground, that's all I'm bothered about. Murdered some more thousands of them. Excellent. Not a bad. They didn't like that too much. We lost some supplies, not ideal. Are they going to attack again? No, they have finally stopped trying to get murdered. Excellent. August 1917. This has been quite a drawn out war so far. But yes, we're going to leave this episode there. Leave your comments, your thoughts and everything else in there. That would be wonderful. Be sure to join the Discord. I want to start talking to you in there. That would also be wonderful. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!